Hey everyone, I'd like to welcome you back to one of my videos. I know I haven't put one out recently since I've been back from being on the road. I had a lot of things going on at home. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Today, I want to talk to you guys about Q maintenance, in particular your Q tip and how to keep it maintained for proper play. Now, most people that have been around for a while know you need to scuff up your tip in order to uh, have your chalk adhere to your tip. And if you don't have chalk, on your tip, you'll end up miscuing on your shots. So I've had a lot of experience with different tools and everything. I'll give you an example I have here. This is a tip pick. It's just like a bunch of nails in, in a uh, cylinder and it's used to just kind of give you a little bit of a scuff so you can have chalk adhere to your tip. One thing I don't like about this is it has nothing to do with shaping your tip. I also have a tip tapper, same thing, just a rough edge here. It's used to scuff up your tip to get that chalk to adhere to. This one, this is an old one I used to have. It's a, a true tip shaper. It has a nickel and a dime side, and it's like a plastic, kind of like a razor blade in there, and it's used to shape your tip. Nice for shaping, bad for scuffing up your tip. And lastly, here, well, not lastly, because we have a review to do, is the Ultimate Q Tool. Now, I'll probably be doing a review on this before too long. This one used to be my go-to until I started using the tools that I'm gonna review today. This one's really good, it does everything, and the only thing I don't like about it is the sandpaper pads in here wear out pretty fast, and you have to replace them on a regular basis. But otherwise, this thing does everything. Now, let's talk about the product that I'm gonna review today. It's the Willer Tip Shaper. This has been my go-to tip shaper and scuffer for several years now. The reason why I like it over the other products is it's very simple to use and it's very, very durable. It lasts a long time. To give you a little bit of information about Willard's Q products, they're a family operated business out of Aurora, Illinois, and it was founded by James Willard in 1985. Basically, he was trying to find a really good tip shaper out there on the market and he couldn't find one, so he decided to develop one himself. Since then, he's made other products, uh, which is like Q cleaning products, Q tips, uh, a universal tool, as well as another tip trimmer. But this has always been their bread and butter. Now, give you some details about these. Well, we'll have to come closer to see. These are the Willard tip shapers. One's a nickel, the other one's a dime. The nickel tip radius is a 0 0.415, whereas the dime is a 0.358. Now the reason why they're called nickel and dime is if you were to take this nickel tip shaper and shape your Q-tip, it should conform to this curvature here, which if you were also to look at a nickel, this is the same curvature of a nickel. The dime, that's the same curvature of a dime. Typically, most smaller tip shafts of 12.4 millimeter and smaller will use a dime tip shaper. And of course, nickel tip shapers will be for shafts that are bigger than that. Most beginners and amateurs should be using a 13 millimeter tip, therefore they should be using a nickel radius tip shaper. Also, most bar cues will have a nickel radius tip as well. Now remember, the more curve you have on your cue tip, the more English you can impart on the cue ball, which means more action on your shots, but also your degree of difficulty will go up. I want to make sure everybody understands the terminology. Most people that have been playing pool for a while understand the difference between scuffing and shaping. However, for some of the people that aren't quite sure yet, scuffing is where we rough up the tip so chalk can adhere to it. And shaping is where we shape the tip so it has a more uniform shape to it. The advantages to these things is when you have a rough tip, chalk would adhere to it better, prevents miscues. You also want to have a uniform shape to your tip so that you're, you know, you're hitting the cue ball more uniformly when you're actually striking the cue ball. So now I bet you're asking, how do you use the Willer Tip Shaper to shape your tips? Well, there's several different methods out there. One of the com more common methods I see people use is where they take their shaft and they take the uh, tip shaper and they'll roll it on their leg while cupping the tip shaper. Here's an example.
Another method you can use is a pocket lathe. You just set it on a flat surface, take your shaft, set it into the pocket lathe, then take your Q-tip shaper and just roll it in shape. Here's an example of that. Now the last method I'm going to show you is the way I usually use the tip shaper. Typically I don't find out that I need a scuff or a shape to my tip until I'm playing a match. So in this case I already had the shaft connected to my cue. So I keep my cue as level as possible on the floor. Then I palm the tip shaper and place it as even as flat as possible on top of the tip. And then I cup it and I twist clockwise and then counterclockwise. I do the same number of turns each way, so I can try to make sure I keep it as even as possible as the tip twists. So the tip itself doesn't have any unevenness to it. That's all the different techniques on using the Willard's Tip Shaper. So let's take a look at some before and after picks. As you can tell in the before and after pictures, this Tip Shaper does a pretty good job. So let's total up the pros for the Willard's Tip Shaper. For starters, it's, really, it's a really good price. It's also very durable. It shapes and scuffs at the same time. And it has this built-in gauge here so you can make sure your tip's the correct radius after you get done shaping it. As far as cons go, if you have a need for both dime and nickel radius tip shapers, you have to buy them separately. Also, this does not have the ability to fix mushrooming. However, in my experience, mushrooming doesn't happen too often, so that's usually not a big issue. Now, is there other tip shapers out there that uh, do more than what the Willard's tip shaper can do? Yes, I showed you on the Ultimate Q tool. However, there's nothing out there quite like the Willard's tip shaper when it comes to effectively scuffing and shaping your tips. Is it worth it? Yes. Now, by no means am I sponsored by Willer's Q products to give this review. I bought these tip shapers several years ago, so this is my unbiased opinion. If you like this product, I'll place links in the description below on where you can buy them. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, and I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next review.